Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sports Design School. Now, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know probably about a couple months back, we put out a video about the top 10 best free fonts for sports design. Many of you guys have checked out the video already, but if you haven't, I'll put up a card in the top right where you can click and check out that video. But essentially in that video, I put together some of the top 10 free fonts that I could find on a free website where you can go and get um, free fonts called Google Fonts. So it's not sketchy or anything like that. They're all high quality, professionally done fonts, no viruses on your computer or anything like that. But essentially I just walked through and picked out ones that I thought would be good, particularly for sports design. And I said that if that video got 20 likes, I would put out a part two to that video. And so here today I am back with the top 10, which I guess this is top 20. I don't know how you want to phrase that, but uh, my, my next favorite fonts for sports design, this time instead of using Google Fonts, we're going to be using this service called Adobe Fonts. Now Adobe Fonts is awesome. There's so many great fonts on here. Um, many of you guys have a Photoshop subscription or have a Creative Cloud subscription, and if you do, there's a good chance that you have access to all of these Adobe Fonts included in your subscription. Uh, double check yourself on that, go over and uh, just make sure that you do have access to it, but I'm fairly certain if you have Photoshop or a Creative Cloud subscription, you should have full access to all of these fonts. So then again, uh, if you do have that access, all these fonts are completely free to use, super easy to download, as I'll show you here in a little bit. But like I did in my last video, I'll be going step by step from number 10 to number one on top of, or in terms of like my favorite fonts on Adobe fonts. So let's get started. So number 10 on my list is a font called Jin. And I'm gonna type through and, or type it in and show you each font so you can see all the different weights and things like that in Adobe fonts. So here we have this font right here called Jin. Um, fun fact about this font, if it looks familiar, it's because the University of Alabama athletics account uses this font. It looks kind of like a standard block letter font, but it has some nice details and things that kind of make it a little bit more unique. Again, this is what Alabama uses for a lot of their designs. So if you're interested in a look like this, I definitely recommend checking out Jin. Uh, if you want to see how easy it is to install fonts in Adobe Creative Cloud uh, using Adobe fonts, all you do is just turn on the slider to turn it off. And if I want to activate it again, you can see the notification in the top right that the font was activated. So then when I go into Photoshop, I can just type in Jin regular and that font will pop up in my font, uh, in my character window. But there it is, number 10 on my list, Jin regular. Now let's jump to number nine. Number nine is a cool font. It's a font called Octan. Now, there's a couple things I like about Octan, and you'll see here in a second. Uh, Octan just has so many different weights and so many different variations. It's a truly super diverse font. I love the just standard block letter. It kind of looks like a kind of older, um, almost like a military vibe in terms of a block letter. Like you'd see something like that on the side of like a naval ship or an um, airplane or something like that. Uh, so I love these, especially these heavy and bold variations of the font. They also have some nice serif variations, so this one and this one. But they also have some different variations, like this spray paint effect right here. And I think that could be really cool to feature in a design. Maybe you're doing some like printed on effects and you want a font that will kind of match uh, that style in your design. The spray paint variation I think could go very well uh, with that design. They have all these stencil fonts, which again, if you're doing a military style design, definitely check that out. But overall, I just think Octan is a great font, lots of different use cases, and anytime you have a font that is uh, super diverse like this, where you can use in a lot of different variations, I always recommend it. So that's Octan. Now jumping to number eight on my list. Number eight is a little bit boring, but I promise there's a reason I'm featuring it. It's this font called Century Old Style. Now, Century Old Style, you might be looking at this and you're thinking, this is literally just Times New Roman. But I want you to think a little bit about, you know, like those Nike uh, campaign commercials, the new ones, that they have like the serif text in all of their designs? 
or in all of like the print things they put out. Um, this kind of looks a lot like that. I think the font Nike actually uses, and I might be wrong about this. I did. I looked it up one time. I think it's called like Baskerville. Um, but I, I love Centrally Old Style for that reason. It kind of gives a vintage look and feel to your design. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use this as like the headline to my design. Like I'm not going to put this like as the focal point, the thing that's like supposed to stand out the most. But I think like I just want to scroll up. Imagine if you just had like this paragraph in the background of an image. So anytime you're doing like a small little detail where you have like a little paragraph and you're kind of wanting to go for a vintage look, I think Century Old Style is a cool font to execute that. Again, not like a header font or anything, but just like, you know, sometimes you have like this small paragraph. Like I've been doing that a lot with my designs lately is I'm just doing like a, um, like a little text box and then I'll paste like something I found off of Wikipedia just to like give it a small design detail. Um, but I would definitely recommend using Century Old Style for that. Now, moving on to number seven on our list is this font called Prohibition Regular. Prohibition. Now, this font, if you notice, is pretty similar to that font Gen earlier, which if you're putting the pieces together, Prohibition, Gen, these fonts were all, well, those two fonts were designed by the exact same person. Uh, I think it's Maddox Schuler of Fort Foundry. Um, so if you think these fonts look familiar or similar, that is why. But again, I just love this font because it is a nice, solid block letter font. There's something about block letter fonts like this that just have like a special place in my heart just because they look nice and vintage but will also look great with any design. So I definitely recommend checking out Prohibition. It's a great font. I'm not going to uh, say too much about it because it's very similar to Jin, but that is my number seven on our list. I had to double check. I lost count. Number six is a really unique font. It's a font that I kind of like uh, a good bit. It's called FF Market. And FF Market is cool because it's a script font and it's a handwriting style font. And I just think uh, it just looks cool. Um, like look at all these different variations. So they have a medium, a bold, and a regular. And I can see using this kind of font for uh, like a handwriting thing or a signature thing for designs. Um, it's like a nice little accent font. I wouldn't use this as like the main font in my design, but I could see potentially having like maybe a person's last name in a block letter font or just a standard bold font and then using a script handwriting font like this as like the first name. Hopefully that wasn't too abstract and too like art schooly. Uh, but I really think this font would go well as like an accent to another font. Um, so that's why I love FF Market. Again, anytime you have three different variations, like a regular, a medium, and a bold, you gotta love it. You gotta love fonts that give you options when designing. So that's FF Market. I definitely recommend checking it out on Adobe Fonts. We're getting down to it. We're at number five on my list. And before I say number five, I just want to take a quick moment and say, if this video gets 40 likes, I'm going to make a part two to this video. Because to be completely honest, I was going through Adobe fonts and I was finding like dozens of awesome fonts for you guys. And so this one has 10. Um, but if you want a video about my next 10 on my list, which trust me, you're going to want to see this, drop a like on this video. And if this video gets to 40 likes, I'll be sure to put out a part three for the best fonts for sports design series. So make sure you drop a like. You don't want to miss out on that. But like I was saying, we're going to number five on my list and it's a very cool font. It's called Factoria. Now Factoria is very unique. Um, and it's something that you might have seen before. There's two different kind of places I've seen Factoria before. Uh, I want to see if you guys will recognize this. But um, for starters, Duke Basketball uses Factoria for all of their designs. So they use like Factoria Bold, Factoria Medium all the time. Go check out Duke Basketball's Instagram or Twitter or wherever you f get your social media content. And Duke uses Factoria for those. So it's pretty 
Um, consistent looks pretty good across all of their platforms that they do, so definitely check out that if you want to see an example of how to use a font like this. The other place that I think Factory has been used before, and I might be wrong, now that I said it, of course, I'm probably going to be wrong, so don't fact check me on this, but I'm pretty sure the This Is Sports Center commercials from back in the day might use Factoria Lite. I'm not going to look it up because I don't want to be wrong, but I'm pretty sure um, those, the This Is Sports Center commercial series uses this font. Um, some of you guys that are younger might not even know what I'm talking about. I look at some of your bios on like your design accounts and you'll put your age and you'll put like 11 years old. You think I'm kidding, but I literally have seen an 11 year old that designs probably way better than I do, to be completely honest, which is insane. But I imagine you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But they had an old series um, of like this is Sports Center commercials on TV, and I'm pretty sure they used Factoria Light. That was a long, rambling uh, side story, but moral of the story check out Factoria Light. You're going to like it. Look at all these variations. You know how I feel about variation. My next font on the list, which is number four, is a font that's pretty similar, if not kind of identical, um, to Factoria Light. And you might also recognize this font. It's called Industry. Now, if you recognize this off the bat, it'll probably be because, well, that's the font that we use for all of our designs that we do for the channel. So Industry has all these different variations, all these different weights, and it just looks solid all the time. You also might recognize this font from uh, Bleacher Report. So I think Bleacher Report's Gridiron account, which is like their football NFL account, uh, they use this font for all of their designs. So if you've seen this font before and it wasn't from Sports Design School, our wonderful channel, odds are you probably saw it from Bleacher Report. But I just love industry. I, I've been using it a lot lately. I've been doing logo design um, for a couple different clients. But I've been using industry a lot just because it looks consistent, looks great, and holds up. Again, lots of different variations, so that's awesome. But let's jump to number three on our list. Now, this is where it gets exciting. These next three fonts are pretty awesome. I think you guys are going to like them a lot. Some of them are kind of unique. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to this video, or subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Don't subscribe to this video. But number three on our list is a font, ooh, this one is really fun. It's a font called Amador, or Amador, I don't know how you pronounce it. And Amador, wow. You might think, wow, this looks like a very boring font. But I've been using Amador as kind of like a decorative font, like an accent font. Not as like my main text, obviously, but I've been pairing this with some more kind of steady text. So if you watch that other video, or like just for example in this video, I would pair like maybe Prohibition Regular with this font. And the two together just look so great. It's so awesome to have a little accent and then to have a kind of more consistent study font to go with it. Uh, I actually have a few designs that I'm working on for the channel right now. I think I posted one, it was like a Trey Young design not too long ago. Um, and I used this font in that design. So I definitely recommend staying, or staying tuned to our channel to check out that design. But Amador, Amador, however you pronounce it, great font, I definitely recommend you checking it out. Number two on our list. We're getting down to crunch time. Number two is a font called Dharma Gothic. If you know me, you know I have an affinity for tall, skinny fonts. Because I truly believe like when you're creating a brand for a digital identity or something, um, you need a serif font, you need a tall, skinny font, you need a regular font that you can use for a lot of things, and you need a script font. Now, if that sounded way too complicated, just ignore that. But more of the story, tall skinny fonts have their place in graphic design. Some of these um, like smaller, thinner ones, I don't like as much. The ones I really love are these regular, bold, extra bold. I mean, the heavy just looks so good. I could definitely see myself using these. In fact, I'm going to activate these right now because I don't want to miss out on them. 
but I could definitely see myself using these fonts in my designs either as a background element or just as the main text. I just think they look so sharp um, and they're completely free to install. That's the thing. I like that one. I mean, look at this. All of these are so cool. I, I've actually been, I think I've been looking for a font just like this for a while now. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out Dharma Gothic. Again, look at all these different variations. I'm going to activate that one too. That's how you know I really like the font. I activated it like six times. But Dharma Gothic, I definitely recommend checking out for a tall, skinny font that looks great in the background of your image. And lastly, our number one font for our Adobe fonts, best fonts for sports design, is a font called Apotech. Now I've done a lot of research and trust me, this is the best font. You're probably looking at it and you're like, wow, this is kind of boring. This looks exactly like all of the other fonts. Uh, and that might be true, but I just think Apotech holds up is really solid. It kind of looks like industry a little bit, but I just love the different variations. Particularly, I love like an all caps text. So I'm just gonna say game day. So for instance, I just love the way that this text looks. So like this one right here, I just think it looks sharp. This one right here, I think it looks sharp. All of these, I just think they look super strong. Um, they have condensed, not condensed, even like an extended version, which is a little bit wide. Um, I just think Apotech is a super diverse typeface. So many different like applications and uses for these fonts. I think they pair well together. I could legitimately see for those of you that create templates or like run sports accounts and you want to create a consistent theme. The biggest part of that is just having a font that you can use in every situation. And I definitely could see Apotech being that font that you can plug into any graphic or any design you want to use to create that same theme across all designs. So if you're looking for a great font to use for your page or channel or whatever it may be, I definitely recommend checking out Apotech. But that's it guys, that's my list of my top 10 fonts for sports design on Adobe Fonts. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Again, if we get to 40 likes, I'll make a part three to this series uh, and talk about 10 more fonts for you guys to check out. Uh, in the meantime though, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I have an awesome, awesome Trey Young design that I mentioned I have been working on and putting together. Again, I'm giving away the PSD for that design completely free and you are going to want to check out that. It's going to be really cool. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.